Hey everybody and welcome to this uh, video where I'm going to connect my editor, my IDE Visual Studio Code with Xdebug. And we've set up Xdebug uh, right now and it is working with PHP. We're running XAMPP here and we just need to connect it to Visual Studio Code here. So how do we do that? First we need to get an extension and that is called, if I can just remove this one here, we're going to PHP Debug and we have it right here. And uh, debug support for PHP with Xdebug. We're just going to install that one there. And, and that should be installed there. Brilliant. We're just going to head back to our project here. We have an index.php file. And we can also see that we have these red dots here now. That is uh, where we can put breakpoints in. And uh, before we can actually use them, we need to go to the debugger again. And we can see we have... We have no configurations here, uh, so if we click on the, the settings icon here, then we can um, select PHP now. And that is really cool because we installed the debug extensions. This is going to give us a JSON file here where we need to, um, we can set everything up. We can actually make really rather detailed setups. And we have one called listen for xdebug. We have one launch currently open script. So we're just going to close this one here. If we take a look in the project, we can see that Visual Studio Code has made a small directory where it put the configuration file in there. So that is nice. We can uh, change it. We can uh, modify it if we want to do that. But we're just going to close this one and go back to our index file. So we have our small PHP file here that we want to use here for this. And if we put a few breakpoints here. We can put the red dots. I don't have a, a that amount of lines here right now, so we just have two lines of code here, so we can put these two lines uh, with a breakpoint. And we're going to head back to our debugger, and now we have these two configurations here. Listen for xdebug and launch currently open script. So if we're going to listen for xdebug, this means that xdebug is going to listen for our PHP script, and when we execute the script, it's going to it's going to stop it where we put breakpoints. And now we can also see we got this new panel up here where uh, we have different uh, commands. We can control how we debug this script here. So let's go back to our debugging and let's just update that. Now we can see that Visual Studio Code and Xdebug has stopped because it detected that we had a breakpoint here. So it has stopped here and now we can inspect our program. That's really, really cool here because we can actually we can dissect our program and see what's going on if we have an error. So we can see right now that this is uninitialized because we have not executed this line of code yet. So text, the variable text is uninitialized. And if we want to continue, meaning that we go to the next breakpoint, we click this one, F5. We can also step over it, meaning that we could basically ignore it. We can also step into, meaning that if we were using, if we had a function call here, it would jump into that function if it were a PHP function. Uh, we can we could get out of that again or repeat it. So this is m much like other debugging tools that you see for other languages. So we can jump to the next one here, and now we can see that the variable got the value now because we have executed the line here. We can also see information about other superglobals, for instance, where we can see, for instance, the post or the get, what have actually been posted if we have a contact form or something like that, server info, uh, request info. So that is basically it about Xdebug and Visual Studio Code. Thank you for watching. Have fun with this. Bye-bye.